came to me. Just out of the blue. Keep doing this because it feels really good. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brittany. I'm the creator of thestyleshaker.com. I am back with another review. It's actually an update of a review and it's all about the Keratosis Polaris video that I just recently posted. I was supposed to be doing weekly updates. I went on a really long trip, hence late updates. The recap is I've had a Keratosis Polaris for a really long time. Keratosis Polaris, in a nutshell, happens when it, people call it chicken skin, so you get these bumps and slight discoloration in specific areas of your body. A lot of people have it, so the likelihood of you knowing somebody that has it as well, or you having it watching this video, because you probably saw the title, it's pretty high. There are a ton of YouTube videos out there that tell you use a scrub and use this lotion. The name of the game is exfoliate and moisturize. I also am trying to go from inside out because I know that the skin is the body's largest organ. I've learned that, thank you Google. I'm trying to hydrate as much as I can. Again, I was traveling. So, it was also a birthday trip and um, wasn't, really, wasn't really hydrating as much as I was dehydrating, but that's life. I've been using Paula's Choice Resist AHA lotion for I wanna say about two weeks. I've been doing it every day. I'm doing it now just once a day. There was a moment there where I was trying it twice a day, but I'm just doing it once a day, and then I also exfoliate with the scrub. The scrub I use is a sugar scrub, if you need any details. I'll put a link to the first video that speaks about that as well. AHA is 10%, it's for all skin types. It's glycolic acid and antioxidants, and it's clinically proven to be non-irritating, fragrance-free, came via a lot of recommendations. I primarily have it on the backs of my arms, Keratosis Polaris, that is. So I have that primarily on my arms, and I did say in that first week, my skin was super duper smooth. What I like about this lotion is it's actually a moisturizing lotion that exfoliates while it moisturizes based off of all the information on the website and there's a ton of information on there which is fantastic. Not being paid to say that, just wanna share. The results are in and I do not have evening out of skin tone yet. Again, very, very smooth. I have been wearing a lot of extra SPF. My arms got super pale. I'm pretty fair skin, but I can also tan pretty easily. It did kind of make my arms very pale. Um, so it didn't really even it out though. I, it was just pale, but then kind of blotchy. I'm gonna give it one more week and see what happens. Did notice that when I drink more water and work out, so you drink more water and you sweat, you're detoxing your body. My arms look so, they're much better. They're much clearer, they're much happier, and it's also a little warmer out and oftentimes, KP can be irritated during winter months because it's more drying. So there's definitely a correlation between hydration and seasonality. Um, the AHA is half working, half not, and that's really the update and where I stand now. I do really like the lotion. I go into this in the first video. It's very lightweight. It's some of the best lotion I've used for this. A lot of the lotions were very thick and goopy. This is very lightweight. It's actually a wonderful moisturizer for the rest of my body. I'm just still waiting on that final piece of the KP puzzle. So I will keep hydrating, I will keep applying this lotion and exfoliating, and I will get back to you with a final update on how it all goes at the end of my 30 day challenge. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you wanna see any behind the scenes action that's going on all the time here as I'm testing, you can find me on Instagram at the Style Shaker. Thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel. Go out there, have some fun, put some lotion on your arms, do whatever you need to do. Just have some fun while you're doing it. And I will see you next time. Bye.